What's up everybody? This is my daughter's Sire V7 5 string that she got for Christmas, uh, this past Christmas. And before I gave it to her, I put a set of the DR coated uh, strings on the base, actually pink to match the cool color. And she loves it. She's had it since uh, since Christmas and she's played it quite a bit. She's in a band and they have rehearsed. They've played a, actually a number of gigs and uh, it still has the same strings on it. So we're eight months later and I've been meaning to do this video. I wanted to actually do it at six months and just didn't get around to it. She was using the bass and um, so they're taking a little break now. And so I've got the bass back here in my office. So I cleaned it up and made sure it was in tune and I did a video. Uh, it, when I put these strings on and I compared the original strings that came with the bass, they were brand new then, uh, with these DR strings and got some sound samples. And, and you can hear the differences. I think the one, the strings that came on this bass were like D'Addario slash Fender standard nickel uh, plated steel strings. Um, and so what I've done, uh, I've, I've actually got, I re-recorded those sound clips with these strings in the condition they're in now after eight months. And uh, I'm going to compare those sound, sound samples uh, to these strings when they were new. And I'm going to put those up now so you can hear the differences. So you can hear the strings have aged quite a bit since they were new. So what I want to do, I want to just talk a little bit about my impressions of these strings and kind of get my feelings on this style of string. And then at the end of the video, I have recorded this bass with some with a drum track and a little bit of guitar. So you can kind of hear, even in the uh, aged condition these strings are in now, they actually still sound really good recorded. And I'll put timestamps in the description so it's easy to just skip right to that if you want to. And also, while you're thinking about it, I'd really appreciate it if you'd maybe think about subscribing, giving the video a thumbs up. And, and also, I would really like to get some comments from other people that have tried these strings. Uh, you know, what do you guys think of them? Uh, just the coded strings in general, even if it's not the DRs. Just some general impressions from, from me playing them. And I've had the bass here. I've been playing it a few days. And I played it some right when I put them on. Um, and I've played the coded string some before. I, just for reference, uh, I have always played uh, uh, stainless steel um, round round strings. To me, the stainless strings, when they're new, have a sort of piano brightness to the sound. Today, that's not a sound I would really go for, but I still really like the stainless steel round rounds because even after they age, they have a certain uh, bite to them, a certain crispness that to me that the uh, nickel wound strings don't have. They, nickel wounds, when they get dead, just sound dead to me. Stainless steel strings still have, have a nice tone. And I have used DR strings really for the last 10 or 15 years. I really like the uh, the, high, the high beams. I use the Marcus Miller uh, fat beam set. I've used the low rider stainless steels. I really like all those strings a lot. So I'm a big fan of DR strings. So with that said, uh, th this string doesn't feel right to me. The, these coated strings feel kind of rubbery and sticky. I notice when I'm sliding, um, it, it, at the end of the video, when you see the clip where I'm playing with the drums, there's a little part where I'm sort of sliding this little and I can tell you from doing that, it almost burns if you slide enough on these strings. It just, it's sort of a rubbery, sticky feeling. Even after all the play that these strings have had, they just still feel sticky and sort of rubbery to me. 
I'm also not crazy about the sound. They just, even when they were new to me, they kind of sounded, I don't know, muffled or it sounded like there was something on the strings, which I guess there, there is something on the strings. So, and the reason I would buy these strings and put them on a bass is really just for the color, not, not really for the sound. Have they lasted longer? I don't know. They're pretty dead. Uh, they still sound good, but, uh, but they're, they're pretty dead. And, and you can see, um, there's really a lot of the coating is starting to wear off of the strings, especially kind of on the G string. And then the under, underside of the strings too have gotten kind of dented up and, and lost a lot of the, um, the coating. So I'm sure that's affecting the sound. I, I'm not sure it, it preserved the, the, the tone of the strings any longer. I mean, eight months is a long time to have a, a set of strings on a bass if you're playing it every day. But I, I know that these strings sounded like this at six months too. I actually meant to do a video at six months and didn't get around to doing it. So they didn't really sound that much different. So they, they kind of went dead and just kind of stayed there. So, so my daughter's played these strings quite a bit. Uh, her band has been uh, been fairly active. They rehearsed a lot. <laughs> they written some original songs. They've done some gigs. And uh, so they've gotten a lot of wear uh, and they've gotten a lot of play. I'm going to put a link to their uh, Spotify page. You know, maybe maybe check them out. Give them some, some support and some love. I'm sure they would appreciate it. <gasps> DR, I think, sell a lot of these strings. Uh, uh, the Dario's got a set. Ernie Ball's got a set. Uh, the Elixir strings. There are a lot of coated strings out there, so people people dig them. But I guess I'm just kind of uh, old school and set in my ways. I prefer a more traditional uh, round wound bass string. But again, anybody out there that's tried these or played these strings, you know, did you like them? Did you not like them? You know, what what are your thoughts? How do, how do you think they sound? So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for checking the video out. So let's get to the jam at the end.